When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? For this is entertainment. This. Like, we didn't even talk about this. This would be right, amazing. Right, but we already have lots of things. We don't need anything else. Juggling. Oh, dear. <laughs> We can practice this. Dude, it's not gonna happen. I know you don't want to budge, but it's way more than we were planning on spending. Uh, la, 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 la. Weddings are a bride that a dress enhances. Weddings are a party where a lion dances. Weddings are events of high finances. Meet newlyweds Melanie and Wilson. Their wedding could only be perfect if it was filled with entertainment. Let's follow along and see if this couple can get theatrical without giving in to all the financial drama. My name is Melanie. I'm a 33-year-old stage manager. I first met Wilson, a professional performer, five years ago when we were working at the same theater. After a month of his advances, we started dating, and when he proposed soon after during a picnic, it was one of the most romantic moments of my life. This is the story of how I learned a lot about my theatrical groom while planning our wedding on a budget. Our wedding day was amazing. I, uh... It went by so quickly. Yeah. It was like, I wish I had more hours. I wish it was like a two-day wedding. <laughs> well, the budget would have been okay for two days. I handled paying for a two-day wedding. <laughs> they may have wanted their wedding to last for days, but will they be happy with bills that last for years? Let's turn back the clock and watch as this budget-minded bride tries to keep her free-spending groom in line. We needed a wedding planner to help us out with, uh... A whole Everything. bunch of different areas of the wedding. Meet wedding planner David Connolly. He's got over nine years of experience trying to help couples minimize the drama while planning their wedding. But how will he deal with a groom with a flair for the theatrical and a bride who has a few hang-ups about spending? But they do cost money and they do have to light. We can't do that. Pop. My role as wedding planner is to take all of the ideas on the table and put them through a siphon that is within the realm of a budget, a timeline, and the resources that they have. So you can dream outside the box, but the box has some sides on it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're getting married. I know. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Scary for me. Yeah. Um, because when you're planning a wedding for a stage manager and someone who's in show business, that usually means two things. One, the, the show is going to be big and the logistics are going to have to be perfectly right. So why don't we talk about your vision? We found a place that we like. Oh, and great. And we'll start with that because um, it's uh, sort of rustic, but in the middle of the city, um, which is kind of cool because my family is sort of from the country. It's a, it's a heritage site. It's uh, It used to be a church. It's now an event venue center. It's amazing. It's like exposed brick, high ceilings. I can see a lot of potential in this place. It's going to be really cool and great. We're in trouble already. You see high ceilings and yes. lots of room for lots of stuff. And yep. you see, like, lovely, quaint country yes. things in the city. OK, so yeah. what about a theme within all that? We have colors. Yeah. That's a theme. Red, black, and a bit of silver. silver yeah. Like, are, are you doing a cross-cultural fusion as well? A we don't know yet. A little bit. Because the, the red, black, and silver is, is leaning towards Asian persuasion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the venue leans towards autumnal harvest abundance yep. stuff. Mm -hmm. So like in yeah. the, we'll find our way through the middle of that somehow. So slightly formal, so it's not as expensive. <laughs> Semi-formal, we'll bring our price with point down wow. a little bit. Like wow, lots of wow. wow. Okay. So it's semi-formal with lots of wow? Wow, wow. Because you know wow mean? is expensive, right? Like We'll see. Wow has a silent dollar sign after every W. It's a w. <laughs> There's only two W's, thank goodness. How many guests-ish? We're at about 130. Um, that we sent out. How about the dress? Have we chosen a... My dress? Yes. Well, no. <laughs> your dress. My dress. <laughs> yes, your um, dress. Melody? I bought it a very long time ago. I've had the dress for four years. For another no, potential no, girl. No. no. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened. Yes, <laughs> we were together. We've been together goodness. for five years. And I saw this dress in a window. And I was like, that's gorgeous. I want that dress. So 
I called Wilson up. I said, can I buy a dress? Is that OK? Sure, whatever. And if you want so, to, that's fine. And have you had it on recently? Not in a while. It's hidden in a box that I'm not Wilson supposed to. Wilson hasn't seen it. And, and what about, like, it fitting for as long as well, it Fit then, I have to, I haven't tried it on in a while, so we'll see. I might have uh, one or two surprises in store. Like and, what? Uh, it's a surprise. If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> but so, do I have to pay for it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, yeah, there's something, there's something in store. I'm still kind of working out the details on. How about entertainment? Okay, go ahead. Well, this we, is your side of things. I have a, I have, um, a long-time buddy that is going to hook us up with uh, some Kung Fu Club members who are going to do a <laughs> Asian lion dance. For free? No. He's doing it uh, at a reduced rate for They'll us. They'll give us a good know. deal. They'll okay. give us a good deal for what yeah. they're going to do. So okay. I'm also looking at, uh, actually, you don't know about this. I, I called my friend up to see uh, what the chances are of maybe getting a parkour group. Like flooring? Like just. No, no, not parquet. No. Yeah, no. It's like the running up the walls and jumping in back. It's like tricks. Oh. I needed like some sort of entertainment that none of us could do. Mm, but we haven't talked about this yet. No, no, no. And you've called your friend. Yes. Like, There's do you nothing... have any idea how much this is going to cost? No, it's just, it's just a feeler. I'm just sending feelers out just to see. Okay. I just we'll see. want something <laughs> amazing because I want like wow entertainment. And, and okay. so far in your budget making choices? Has it been collaborative? Have you been like, this is how much it's going to cost, so let's decide we on this? We haven't really talked about really, how yeah. much things are going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> we, awesome. we don't really know. We know how much we, we have. Yeah. Huh? That mm. took us a while to figure out, and now we know that. Do you think that number is elastic? I think so. Mm. Not so much. Not really? So much. I think okay. it might be. That's mm. important for you to get on a page about, and the page is the budget page. But the numbers in there's between are flexible. If there's a contingency, yes. he's not going to know about it. Secrets. I just feel like this budget is totally killing what my ideal plan of a no, wedding is. No, just it's say, like, your, say your ideas. Yeah. yeah, but what's the cost of my happiness? Come on, things are flexible. It's not it's, really set in stone. Okay, but it's, it is, the, though. But prices are going to be set in stone. Wilson and I didn't fight until we started planning this wedding. We were, uh, we don't disagree on many things. We're, we're pretty relaxed about a lot of stuff, but now that we have the stress of, of the money and all of these decisions that we're not used to making, it's it's been hard. Uh, Mel and I are probably not on the same page for this budget. Uh, she has her budget in mind, and I have whatever I want. Like, when you eat a pie, do you eat the whole pie, or do you save pie over time? Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll eat the he whole pie. He eats the whole pie. Ah. But then I know I can buy another pie. <laughs> We're at a fusion event. It is fusing the country yeah. and the city. It's fusing your culture with something that's a little more rustic, Victorian mm -hmm. turn of the century. We want our family to have a really good time and kick up their heels and like just yes. have yes. a yes. Yes. This is totally yes. exactly. All of that sounds good. So let's see what that figure is, shall we? <laughs> Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? 130 people. Your speech is that good or bad? Good, no, I'm doing good. some math in my head. It's doable. If we plan well, okay. And you don't overspend or keep any secrets. Coming up. That's amazing. You think I can do that? I have faith. Come on. I don't think I can get up. You can get up. Just when I was so excited that I hadn't gotten anything on this beautiful white dress, I drag my sleeve through the cannelloni sauce and get it all through the front of my white dress. Thank God for club soda, though. When it comes to planning your wedding, you may find yourself bending over backwards to accommodate your partner's ideas. I just feel like this budget is totally killing what my ideal plan of a no, wedding is. It's say, like... your, say your ideas. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple kept their budget flexible or bent it totally out of shape. I bought my wedding dress a long time ago, before we got engaged, and uh, so I knew it would need some alterations. I loved this dress. Um, so I brought my girls to uh, help me see how much alterations it would actually need. 
She bought it a long time ago. This is a few years. You know what that means, right? Doesn't um, show the girls. Now yeah. just come, come out. Okay. Yeah. Are you sucking it? Are you in? sucking it? I don't oh, think she can oh, suck sorry, it honey. anymore. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What about the jacket? Will the jacket Will it cover? Here. It's a bolero jacket. Oh, hold so on. So it's like half a jacket? Well, let's hope it's the half that'll cover the zipper. Oh, right. Uh, okay. It doesn't yeah. cover anything. No. <laughs> Not that. Um, it's a gorgeous okay. dress, guys. Can but... we... Alter it? I don't suggest letting it out because of the show the lines. And if you do put a panel in, it's gonna cost about two, three hundred dollars for alterations. I don't think that's what Melanie's looking for. <laughs> I don't have a budget for this. But you also don't fit it's... into this dress and you well, need yeah, to get it altered. Have to have a dress. Dress is kind of important. Yeah, it's wedding. important. That's where you spend your money is the dress. You may find your perfect dress in the rose that actually fits. Okay. Hang on a second. This is pretty too, guys. Oh. This has a lot of really nice sparkle to it. It's plain down in the front, but in the back, it's really pretty. Think you'll like it? Yeah. yeah. Try it. Okay. Uh, what about this? Oh my god, I love that. We wanted to find the right dress. Good find. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Ooh. What do you think? Maybe. No. Okay. No. Not feeling it. Did it inspire? Price? Not okay. No, we're not looking at price. Uh -huh. Don't worry. How much is that? Doesn't matter. Okay. Just try that. Just okay. try that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, let's see. Let's you ready? See. Yes. Okay. okay. Girl. This one's gorgeous. Oh. It's I like there. it. Except for it's really tight. Oh, yes. This one fits. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, and it's awesome. the right length. Oh, our shoes. Awesome. Yeah, how much is it? It's $2.99. Well, then it fits in more ways than one. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. $2.99 for good. a wedding dress? Oh, yeah. I don't want to say this, but I like it better than my other one. Yay! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted something unique, simple, and cheap for our centerpieces, so I took David and Wilson to a thrift store. Yeah, that was fun. We're here but for centerpiece? Yeah, because it's a thrift store, and at a thrift store, it's not only eco-friendly because you're reducing, reusing, and recycling, but it's it's you can find like great vintagey stuff that yeah. or like simple, see, look, and reuse simple. stuff. Simple. That's good. We're yeah. gonna find twenty of those. We're gonna find wow. as many as we can here, and then we'll go to it. Look at these, pretty. Look, it's pretty. really nice, right? Oh. Like, I was thinking something bigger. And your budget was hoping for something smaller. I yeah. want, like, flashy. This is all we can clear. Put... It's glass. Yeah, but it's, it's Asian persuasion. This, <laughs> like, this <laughs> seems nice. simple. Yes, Wilson. Simple, but cheap. I want big. I want flashy. I want lights. I want you keep something. That. It needs to be tall. How do you do big on a budget? It's tall. This is One not a priority them. for either of you. I thought not I could be wrong. I just wanted bigger. I never thought it was going to be that tiny. Okay, but it's not they, done. I, like that's just the beginning you go, of you it. You go find plates. Are we looking at like you go bigger find stuff? No, okay. you go find plates because this plan okay. is in action. Like the the, yeah. the, the know, Mr. I didn't care about the like it's centerpieces. All of a sudden, like cares about the centerpiece. It's not that I don't care. Like you guys are. But you said you didn't care. I don't care as to what they look like, but I was hoping for it to be bigger. Like, so you care. Wow. So that's you care. Uh, a little bit. I didn't see anything with wow factor. Mel and I are on totally different pages when it comes to our wedding. Luckily, I got some other ideas that will create the excitement I want. Do you think you could source me out something, some wow factor? I'm thinking trees. Do you think it'd be possible just to source out a cherry blossom tree? Like maybe two. I'm just, you know, I'm just testing the waters. It's not cherry blossom tree season, is it? it uh, no. And uh, even if it was cherry blossom tree season, it's one of the most expensive things you can buy. And okay, what about when they're in season? How about fake ones? I really you, wanted to know. What about these? Mean silk, right? Like. Hi. Hey. Hi. That's a <laughs> nice plate. Good plate. These are good. And a pair. Uh -huh. what? What's with this random Nothing. pair? Nothing. Seriously, what's going on? I just want, I was running the idea past David uh, to see uh, what the possibility is of maybe getting, buying, renting cherry blossom trees. I think that would put a wow factor into our wedding. For our bride, it's more like a why factor. First of all, you shouldn't be talking about this stuff without me. Like, wh why? How did this happen? I just wanted and to run and buy him first. Second, right? 
We don't have the money. I just wanted to figure out how much it was before we discussed it. Because then, if it's totally out of the question, then I wouldn't have brought it up. Fine. We'll find you trees. We'll get $200 out of the $500. We'll make really? these for $300. Yep, really. I don't know how. Here, give me the pair. We can't afford the pair. Well, I'll, I'll tell you trees. Trees. I wanted to do something completely off the wall for the entrance uh, to off our first wall. dance. Absolutely. So, you know, I looked around and uh, might have found something totally fun that the two of us could do. I totally thought it would be amazing. Instead of a first dance, I totally want to do like a first trapeze routine. That's great. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah, it's great, but I've never been on one of those. I don't even know anything about it. Can you show us some... Um, something that we might be able to do with practice. Yeah, put your first foot on the yeah. bar. Yeah. Pike. Pike. Put your knees on. Pike up and sit. See, it's... Why does that look so easy? It's easy. You can try. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do star. Reach up nice and high. Jump. And you're in a star. That's Come on. really cool. Sure, but let's see you do it in heels. So now, we're gonna try bird's nest. Okay. All right. Okay, so you go back onto your knees, mm -hmm. wrap your hands around the bar, put your feet on the other side, and just pull your body right through. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's amazing. You think I can do that? I, I have faith, come on. I don't even think I can get up. You can get up. I'll try. And we'll okay. do the logistics. Okay. Okay, yeah. ready? Okay. Oh, God. Just think of all the bridesmaids that will help you, you out that day. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm doing this all on my own. Go, 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 go. OK, OK. There you go. Ooh, I almost You're went up. all the way through. <laughs> this is doable. Easy for you to say. Am I in my dress? Maybe. Maybe you get changed for this. I'm a little bit tired of Wilson's wow ideas. There are a lot of them, and they're all expensive. Um, but I think we found some that are great, and I and I think I just hope that he doesn't come up with any more. Close, <laughs> almost, close. <laughs> okay. No. Circus hurts. I'm sorry, but you know what? It looks fantastic. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> let's talk specifics here, because I don't think I can do this. Okay, what is it going to cost for me to learn how to do this from scratch? Classes are $25 each, but for what you guys are doing, you're probably going to want private, mm -hmm. which is $50 per class. Right. Wilson. We're just doing this for just one day. This would be right, amazing. Right, but we already have lots of things. We don't need anything else. I know you're really excited about everything, but we, you can't have everything. Really? We can do an amazing dance for free. Oh. I was slightly surprised and upset that it, Mel did not take to this idea of uh, trapeze. Uh, but I was hoping, you know, in the very end that she'd be game for it. But, you know, sadly in the end, it was a bust. Coming up. Come on, you can put this on your resume. Special skills. This no, is fantastic. Special skills. I'll be killing somebody with this art. Our cake was just ugly. Ugly. Ugly, ugly. There was no other word for it. It was just ugly. It tasted and good, but it was it was ugly. It was. <laughs> there was no other way to say it. When it comes to spending money on your wedding, it won't be difficult to spend more than you'd planned. Like two, three hundred dollars for alterations. I don't have a budget for this. Oh, yeah. But you also don't fit it's... into this dress, and you well, need yeah, to get it altered. Have to have a dress. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple kept the numbers low or if their spending went up and up. We both knew that we didn't want a traditional wedding cake. Mm -hmm. So I had something in mind, and I needed to show David and Melanie so that they were on board. Trust me, it was going to be amazing and unique. Hey, my friends don't call me a trendsetter for nothing. They call you a trendsetter? Yeah, they do. Donuts for... Tree! Donut, Donut. tree! Oh, Come on, goodness. what do you think? Think past the squares, it's gonna be round. It's gonna be like cone shaped. In lieu of wedding cake. What? I David, think... help me out okay, here. I think, I think to make this a cone of any sort yep. is gonna be really difficult. Like, I think that, because it has to be like, you know what I mean? It has to be like, yeah. not just, we're not just making like a, a, a triangle, mm -hmm. you know? Are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you're a fan of, now how did we get to the donut hole cake? 
I don't know. I thought we were gonna get truffles, like a little truffle tree. Well, it's a little truffle tree. It's like a little truffle tree that's like next to the sweet table. It's not a, a, a bohemoth of donuts. <laughs> Come on, it is that, so um, gonna be amazing. It's not. So you think that, okay. How is that gonna be pretty? Yeah, you know what? That was my question. Isn't that weird? Look, okay, look at us so, on the side of the look, table. <laughs> we've got we've got like different it's colors. Us. You can have a little design. You can but have. But they're a all that same beige color, like except for the chocolate. Well, the white ones won't be. The powdered ones. Powdered yeah. one. Are you willing to sacrifice the truffles? Like, just I'm okay without truffles. Uh, I'm not having that instead of truffles. You know what? If this was a wedding cake, then the way that they make a wedding cake look bigger than it is, is to actually make tiers. So what if mm -hmm. we did like a tier tower? I don't think this is gonna work. You have to think outside I, the box. Oh, well, think outside the box. Come on, think outside the box. <laughs> it's gonna work. You know what? I it's, just it's, don't it's, think it's gonna be pretty. I like, think, I just I think, think you two are crazy. Oh my oh, God. Okay, I'm done. Come on, I'm done. Is this the groom's idea of wow? No, I'm done. No. Just, I'm done. I'm not having some, any of this. Some. Wilson has unique ideas about the wedding. I admire him for that. That's great. But a donut tree, it's cheap, but it's tacky. So I don't think Mel's like 100% in with this idea. Yeah. Call me crazy. Really. So um, can we put this aside for a second, have a little powwow about what other options would be sure. that okay. make her happy, that make our budget happy. I'm gonna completely finish these and put them online for sale. Nice. Nice. And then we can be able to afford real dessert. Melanie's always barking about the budget. So I come up with this cool and cheap idea and she says no. <laughs> Whatever. This donut tree is happening whether she likes it or not. I wanted totally something amazing at our wedding, so I took my groomsmen to a bartending school. Maybe to learn a few things and add to our resume. Next time you have an idea, let me know. We're gonna step into something a little bit more exciting. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Now two rotations, catch by the neck. Juggling. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't that was Breakage. Sounds like another one of Wilson's great ideas. Come on, guys, we could totally do this, can't we? Dude, uh, I don't know. Come on, buddy. it's so easy. Come on, you just gotta practice. Oh, oh. Oh, Dude, so what exactly is it that you're trying to achieve with this? Okay, like all four of us were performers, right? So yep. you know, we wanna set the bar up, and we're gonna like put on a big show the day of the wedding and uh, have some fun. Well, most most of the guys that do this professionally, yep. they train for seven or eight years before they ever get up in front of people. So okay. whether or not we're able to get you to that point in, you know, a couple of weeks before the wedding, that may not be necessarily attainable. We'll learn some of the easy stuff. What's something that you could like totally well, flare up? You've got some great pours down, okay. but if you want to link that into a full routine that's yeah. actually exciting to watch, okay. it's got to be a little bit different. It's got to be a little bit more involved. Okay, let's do it. Okay, like, come on, show me an amped up step. We Here we go. Ready? We can totally do this. Okay. Like... Um, something like this maybe to start. You can stop the bottle in the tin. <laughs> stop it again, dude. It's not gonna happen. Come on, it totally is gonna happen. We got time. We can practice this. Dude, it's not gonna happen. Why not? Because we, we're not gonna stand there all night behind the bar trying to serve people. Come on, you can put this on your resume. Special skills. This no, is special skills. I'll be killing somebody with this one. And that's a special skill you won't want at your wedding. I say hire them. Why don't you consider maybe just taking a step back and sitting on the other side of the bar. We'll put on a little bit of a show for you and you could maybe get in your mind's eye what, what a show might be so that you can enjoy your wedding. Okay, no, yeah, let's this. We'll watch. So just a little bit of freestyle. This is maybe something that you might see. Come on, look at this. And We're definitely long? gonna have all three. This yeah. is crazy. You, got, you, you see it. this? This is fantastic. How much is gonna be? For a wedding like this, per bartender, you're looking at about $500 per bartender. 500, that's like 15, bucks. Dude, it's worth it. I know, take a look at this, it's fantastic. Mel will be okay with this, come on. Uh, maybe after a few drinks. Yeah. If, it, if it's in the budget, dude, this is, yeah. this is great. No, okay, fine, we'll leave it to the professionals. Yeah. This is sold. All right, thank you so much. No problem. It's been a blast, Pleasure. great stuff. Can't wait to see you guys on the day. In my mind, at our wedding, I thought the entertainment was a really big factor. So I took David and Melanie uh, to a surprise place to uh, give them a little performance of what I really, really wanted. Funkies. <laughs> hey, hey, Dan! Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going, dude? Good, man. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Good to meet you, too, man. Me too. We're gonna do some parkour! 
Okay, so basically what we're gonna do now is break down parkour for you guys, because two of you guys have never seen this stuff before. So there's a lot of running, jumping, climbing, and pretty much flipping off of everything we can possibly get our hands on. So what I'm gonna get these guys to do is give you a little demo of some of the stuff we could do that night. Shouldn't you just decorate the walls, not climb them? We could do this against the wall. Against what wall? What wall? The wall, the back wall. wall. The back? Under the balcony? Nothing says forever like men jumping off the walls. There's columns there, right? And pipes? Pipes? Yeah. On you the want them to the hang wall? off pipes? Those are hung specifically. Not it's a pipe. ones it's that pipes. are. But no, there, there are no pipes. No. We can't figure out how to hang the lanterns. Yeah, like, like balconies. Have you talked to money yet at all? No. But it's fantastic. Just keep that in mind when you see the bill. How do you lend yourself to an, any other space? Like, have you done a wedding before? We've done one before. And what we do basically is we have to go into the space, obviously, and we have to look at the stuff. And we have to make sure everything's safe. Yeah, we got a balcony. We have, we have a, a balcony. A full wall. Well, in a heritage venue yeah. that was built in 1880. So we're just not, like, we'd have to make sure that everything was safe enough for you. And is there an insurance issue? Like, do we have to get extra insurance? So what we do is we come with our own insurance. And the magic question? How much is it gonna cost? We're gonna need about three guys there. So what we do is we're gonna bring the three guys again. Um, we're gonna do the full out performance for you guys and you guys can tweak it based on your liking. And then uh, we're gonna be there the final night. You okay. know? And the whole thing together, the whole package is gonna cost you about a thousand bucks to get us out there and do stuff like that. Okay, wait, wait, it's for the what? full package. It's three but guys, they're coming like more than once. They're scouting the spot. Ask. It's amazing. Okay, but but it's worth just... every penny. Wilson? Yes. We don't have a thousand dollars in the budget. For this is entertainment. This. Like we didn't even talk about this. this There's no money there. Every, like even if we go over, like I really, really want this. You really want this? I want this more than anything. This is so amazing. I know. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. 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 The monkeys are coming to the wedding. Beat you into a yes. Yes. Pretty much. But you have to figure out. You have to help us figure out how. Oh, yes. It means you're actually gonna have to look at the budget, you know. Okay. And that's it. We'll do it. We'll that's do it. We'll the, do it today. That's it, right? That's the last. Yes. Coming up. So does Mel know about this? Like us wearing their hair? No, that's okay. You she didn't tell her. Your... No, I didn't tell her. <laughs> Of the reception, I think the most fun I had was uh, trying to smear Mare's face with cake. And get it in my, my eyeball. eyeball. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to planning your wedding, some of your partner's ideas may seem a little square. I don't think this is gonna work. You have to think outside I... the box. Oh, well, think outside well, the well, box. Well. Come on, think outside <laughs> the box. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this bride learned to think outside the box or if her groom just spent outside of their budget. When it came to shoes for me and my groomsmen, it was all about fit and style. I totally do not want to wear dress shoes. Oh, oh my God, I love you. That's, That's amazing. amazing. I've been here before, looked over some of the shoes. You know, I totally know Mel's theme is like red, white, and black, and I'm thinking this. <laughs> This no is the one. I'm telling you, this is going to fit awesome, with, man. instead of dress shoes, okay. this is about style. You're going to be so rocking. And you know what? I think I'm going to buy you guys all a pair of shoes. I think what? just to make it look amazing, I'm like, you know what? It'll be a gift. You know what? You get That's to wear them gift. after. That's and I'm like, you know what? Gift. I think That's I'm awesome. going to wear the white pair. Just because oh. my tie's gonna be totally different. This is gonna be amazing. Man, that's amazing. This nice. is gonna be yeah, sick. That's great. How much are the shoes? $79.99. Now he asks. And they'll last way longer than just like a tux rental. For the group. Yes! You can see those. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Come on, this is totally the color scheme. So does Mel know about this? Like us wearing their hair? No, that's okay. She you didn't tell her. Your... No, I didn't uh, tell her. Uh, so basically, right, boys, take about... <laughs> she'll be fine. So you want to start your wedding day with a doghouse, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> he may as well get used to it in there. I think to soften the blow, I should get her a pair too. You know what? We're gonna start dancing and yeah, the night. No one wants to wear idea. heels. I'm like, we'll just get her a pair. I want oh, the low top version of yours. That's totally that's amazing. Awesome. Hmm, jewelry, sneakers. At least you'll like the price. We got together with David to go over the budget because the budget was always something that was in the back of my mind, something I was always 
thinking about and worrying about, and we need to see if Wilson and I were on the same page. We're on the same page, all right. Just a different book. <laughs> so thank you for coming. It's my favorite meeting. <laughs> um, we saved money on the dress. I tried the dress on. The dress. The dress. That we the dress that yeah. we bought a long time ago. Yeah. And it didn't fit. I found another dress, which I don't need to alter. So instead of altering the dress I had from before, which would have cost the same amount as the new dress that cost how much? $300. You have two dresses? So you love a dress for $300. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Uh, what about um, your dress? Are you all done? You have a tux? You have yep, I got, I boys have a are done. Tux. Uh, yeah. yeah, the boys uh, are not mm -hmm. renting tuxes. They have their own suits? Yeah, I went and I checked them out. It's just, you know, black on black, nice and simple, red ties. They're pretty much done, uh, except for their shoes. Their shoes were a mess. We totally you went and uh, I bought them shoes. Okay. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Before you guys freak out, I looked at the I'm budget. Freaking out. I looked I'm looking at, at the, the budget. budget. Okay, what are we looking at? Right, we're mm. looking at the uh, groomsman's attire mm -hmm. and also the groomsman's gifts. So I've combined the two together and I'm totally okay. on budget. I spent $500 on shoes. But it doubles up as their gift. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. But in that $500, I also bought you a pair of matching white sneakers. <laughs> Anyways, it's... Yeah, but she's I not going to wear them. Yes, yeah, she will. She's... She'll wear them. She'll wear them. Trust me. She may need them if she decides to run away. Let's uh, move on then and see where we can cut. How about this? The trees. Remember you asked me to look for trees? Yes. I Did it come through? Yep. Yes. OK. Is that something we're cutting? No. We could, like... Because I think they're just going to add to the, uh, the decor. Like, I think it's going to be fantastic. It's like, you know, we went through all that, and, and you guys got what you wanted for your centerpieces, so I totally think and that, you know, I should, I should get the trees. This is our last item, so we've got to... We've got to come up with a way to shave this one, and it's okay. entertainment. Parkour, you guys were there. It's amazing. Um, it's, that's going to happen. I think that's going to be OK, I just have to ask you again, factor. because I don't see how it's necessary to have parkour in our wedding. It's necessary. Are they performing the ceremony? So that's it, then. We lion. have a lion dancer, the parkour, and, and maybe parkour. a DJ, maybe. And we have one more thing. We had talked about, because lion? we're all dancers, that we were going to go and make up a dance for you. For free. Exactly. Yeah. That's so typical. So we went to a bartending school, and what we were going to do is... We went to bartending school. We went to bartending school, and we were going to go behind the bar, and we were going to do flare tricks. And then we realized that we would be breaking too much alcohol, and our alcohol budget would go through the roof. We, we I, got I can't hear three you. Three no, flare you didn't. bartenders. We wanted to do something unique. Dancing unique. is unique? No, it's our job. It's work. But it's free. They're You're killing make. me. The magic number is five hundred dollars. What? Okay. Each. I can't even comprehend. Uh, like, I need a mojito right now. Maybe Wilson can make you one. There has to be something that you have added. I know you don't want to budge, but that's budget. a lot. Budget. Of things that, uh, one, I didn't know about, and two, it's way more than we were planning on spending. Okay, fine. I will compromise. I will cut one of the flare bartenders, and that saves $500. That's my peace offering. I'm like, it's a good I, peace offering, but it's just a piece. It's just Look, a we piece. We need many pieces. That's a good one, though. You guys are going to sleep on this. You're going to go over that budget. You're going to find some shavy shave. As long as I get the stuff I want. Get your stuff. That's what you have to do. That's fine. Okay. Wallet. I give her the wallet. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Coming up. Through the good times and the bad. Through the good times and the bad. The speech was one of the reasons I didn't want to have a big wedding, because I knew this speech was going to be there, and I didn't want to make one. Uh, if Cheryl would have had to make my speech, it would have gone a lot smoother. She wouldn't have worried about it at all. And I would have felt a lot more relieved from the beginning of the wedding. I guess he just likes me to talk. But she does well. When it comes to planning your wedding, it's important to be clear on the difference between need and want. I don't see how it's necessary to have parkour in our wedding. It's necessary. And at the end of the show, we'll see if he gets what he wants or if she gets to stay on budget. 
since we were doing so many things that were non-traditional, we uh, both decided that we were just going to show up early at the venue the day yeah. of the wedding and just to see how things were going, meet our wedding party and uh, David and make sure everybody was uh, on the right page for uh, game day. Hang out with everybody and get the day started. We have to decide whether to be outside or inside for the ceremony. It is, okay. um, it's cold out. It's a little chilly, but it's still nice out. It's not like below zero and it's gonna get warmer. And it's then nice. it's gonna get colder. Yeah. We okay. kind of be oh, like, it's not that this, bad out here. It's like waiting for a bus. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like once you sit, there's no movement to even get your circulation, right? right? No, exactly. So it's not like we couldn't keep them in there and then bring them out at the last minute or something, but then. That's just a lot of work. It's still 20 right. minutes. It's a lot right? of work. So you feel yeah. that, feel that? Right and that wall's blocking okay. most of the wind. I like it. Let's talk about it inside. So we're going to look at, but we'll face out. And we'll keep yes. all these windows, uh, like, clear so we can see out. OK. Yeah? Good. Let's do it. I need I to mean, get my hair done. OK, girl. <laughs> Are your hands, like, pristine, like, boiled clean? Yes. For sure, for yes. sure. I wash them. They're boiled Thank clean, you. OK. OK. Um, we should be doing it from the inside out, so just put that away for a second. So it's kind of like painting. Okay. Like, like you want to get something on the on the wood, anything, and then you go back and you fill in the, the cracks. If you could have it done by like 10 minutes ago, that'd be awesome too. <laughs> Thanks. I was really happy that we got ready at the venue and we were there and we could chat with David if we needed to and, and sort of get, you know, get our hair done. And then once my hair was done, I could just walk around and see what was going on. Wow, it's pink. I guess the bride isn't wowed by Wilson's trees. Like men no. for the sky. Right at the top of the stairs, stopping people from going up the stairs. Um, move okay. it back. If you just put it on the floor, then that'll... Uh, or just take it out of the big Can one. Can you go get the, on the floor. Pots? Okay. Like that? I think it's weird to have a tree hold a door open. You have men climbing walls at your wedding, and this is weird? Um, that's better than all the other options we yeah, had. Here. I like this, actually. Yeah. It's amazing. I think they look great. If there's any way we could get them a little lower, great. If we can't. With Wilson's cherry blossom trees failing inspection, it was up to David to save the donut tree. There are some troubles left from her tree. OK. That I thought maybe we would crown it with. So who knew it was a science, right? Well, it's certainly not an art. This, so you know, is a wow factor. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Say again. <laughs> I need some help doing it up. There you go. Perfect. Good. See? Good? Oh, perfect. Gorgeous. <laughs> That's like a glove. Did I get it works? We need it shorter. Uh, shorter, probably. Yeah, I think a little bit shorter. Right about there. There. The day went amazingly well. I, you know, didn't really know what to expect. It just kind of happened. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, I can't wait. It's gonna be uh, a crazy night. Not everything is gonna go according to plan. No. What? Everything so has to go according to plan. So just relax and enjoy Second? yourself. No, You're the first, only one that doesn't first, have to work first. Okay. That's right. Oh, Look at that. Hey, oh, one nice. of these don't match. What happened? The ceremony was beautiful. It was like, Tunnel vision. Everybody just kind of <laughs> zooms out, and it's just Mel coming down uh, that little aisle. It was beautiful. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Melanie, I give to you. Melanie, I give to you. My promise to stay by your side. My promise to stay by your side. Through the good times and the bad. Through the good times and the bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you. And always be open and honest with you. I promise to always be open and honest with you. Do you, Melanie, give this ring as a token and pledge of the promises you have made today? If so, answer, I do. I do. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> My tuxedo that I wore for the wedding was 
ugly. It was this putrid brown with ruffles on it and a bow tie and lapels that you could fly an airplane with. But that was then, and uh, that was the style. It looked great back exactly. then. That was it the matched, style. It matched a two hundred dollar uh, wedding gown. Twelve hundred. Oops, twelve hundred. When it comes to your wedding day, be prepared for a flood of laughter and tears. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you. And always be open and honest with you. And soon, we'll reveal if this couple could laugh off their spending or were left crying over their final bill. The reception was a big party. It was a big hit. Everybody loved it. Yeah. People were drinking and having a good time, and the flair bartenders were really cool. I was impressed. I didn't know what we were getting into, but they totally worked. While the bartenders were serving up fiery drinks, David was putting the final touches on the venue. David Connolly was amazing, totally worth it. Yeah, when we saw the venue for the first time, when everything was set up, it was gorgeous. It was amazing. Yeah, I was really surprised at how well lighting, everything sort of came all together. The, uh, all the lanterns on the side, it was- Yeah, the it was, colors. It was all the... red. I was really happy. It was great. Yeah, totally yeah. added to uh, what I envisioned. I think the, the parkour was a great um, switch from our, you know, our wedding dance, which was lovely, and then it just brought us straight into the party. It was fantastic. Which, yeah, and nobody was expecting it. Yeah. So just sort of the surprise factor came out of nowhere, yeah. and then boom, we, we were, were in. Yeah. Perfect. Budget wasn't on our minds nope. at all. Yes. Yeah. It was great. Yep. <laughs> their budget may have been far from their minds, but the bills are close at hand. The original budget we handed to David was $35,000. We wanted something different on our wedding day, so we had a donut tree and a truffle tree. They were a steal at $400. I love the dress that I got. I'm so happy that we found it. Um, and for the two dresses, the one that did fit and the one that did came in at $600. Our venue looked amazing. It had so much wow factor. All of the decor came to $1,250. We had no shortage of fantastic entertainment. Flair bartenders and parkour came in at $2,000. David Connolly was amazing to work with. He did a superb job. David's fee was $3,500. We had a great venue. It was perfect for what we needed. With food and alcohol, it came in at $24,680. Miscellaneous costs such as the traditional lion dance, photography, and our matching shoes came to $5,150. What we actually spent was $37,580, which puts us over budget by $2,500 and $80. It wasn't that bad. It's only $2,580. It's over. We were over. Not by much. Doesn't matter. We were over. It's totally doable. I could have had more parkour guys. I could have had more. You could have had less parkour guys. Then we Although they were cool. The food was hot. The drinks were even hotter. And the donut tree was a hit. The only question left is. Did Melanie enjoy wearing her sneakers? She had so much hairspray uh, that the bird seed that, we, that they threw at us was stuck to her hair. He was actually kind of mad at me that I put cake in his face because we do that in this country and where he grew up, they don't do that. That was quite rude. So <laughs> he was like, what are little, you doing little to me? Mm.